What I have here is a cathode ray tube. It's a glass tube where most of the gas has been pumped out of it. There's only a little bit of gas there. It's not completely evacuated, but it's close. Inside, there's a piece of metal, and that metal has been coated with a chemical that glows when it gets energy. So if I give that chemical energy, it will glow in response. Now, I've got a Tesla coil here. This produces a very high voltage. As soon as I uh, hit the button, it'll produce a very high voltage. I'm going to use that to put a high voltage here. Watch what happens when I do that. Okay, you can actually see a spark going from the Tesla coil to the end of the tube. And now you see that nice uh, green glow. That indicates that particles are hitting the chemical. So the particles are hitting the chemical, giving it energy, and it's glowing in response. And you see those particles are traveling straight. They're traveling from one end of the tube to the other end of the tube. Now, I can see that these particles are electrically charged by using a magnet. When I put a magnet near, notice that the path of, the, uh, of those particles is deflected. If I turn the magnet the other way, so I change the polarity of the magnet, the deflection goes the opposite way. So a magnetic field deflects the trajectory of these particles. That tells me those particles are charged. If I know enough about the magnet, I can actually find out that these particles are negatively charged. And of course, what we know they are is electrons. Uh, the voltage is liberating electrons here. Those electrons are traveling all the way to ground at the other end of the tube, and in between they're making a phosphor glow. And they react to the magnet because they're negatively charged. 